No, literally, he had Cole by the back of the neck. If Cole was trying to swing like this, while the guy had him pinned to the ground about this low, then I guess that Well, counts. check it, look, okay? I need I, I need you to go to my YouTube channel, Mike Blue Hair, tomorrow and find this video and use it as evidence that your friend's beat up and he's got he's got uh, a lot Absolutely. of damage done to his face. And you can see blood coming out of your friend, the corner of your friend's eye there. Oh yeah, the cops said that you guys are full of shit and that they're that you guys are trying to make us look like dipshits on Facebook. And that oh. you guys are a uh, exploitation company. You're gonna take what we say and make fun of it and then put it on Facebook as a parody. Wow, wow. no. Wow. They're full of shit. Watch. When you go to they my YouTube said, channel, I would not I'm recommend talking to these guys because they're gonna hold you they're gonna try to spin it and put it against you. Wow. No, watch. When, when you check this video out on YouTube, you'll see that I, I, I advocated for you. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I stand by you guys 100%, man. I appreciate Which it. officer said that to you? Was it the tall blonde guy? Yep. Oh, that's Officer Green. Yeah, Officer Green. <laughs> nice. So I've documented that Cole is indeed being uh, taken to Legacy Emanuel Hospital. So this is Mike Bluehair signing off for Film the Police Portland. The thing I find most egregious about this whole thing is that Officer Green actually told these guys I was trying to exploit them and I was going to post this video to Facebook and make them look like a-holes. And that's just creepy. I mean, it's, it's really uncalled for. And it makes me think that the cops here are working with the bouncers to cover up crimes. That's just my thoughts on the whole matter. This happened in Whiskey Bar? Yep. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, I'll tell you what happened. What happened just now? Who are you guys? Show me some fucking My name is Mike Blue here. I run a, 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 a police accountability activist group called Film the Police Portland. I film the cops to keep them honest. Okay. So I'm curious, why aren't they uh, helping you? Okay, like, tell well, me what the hell happened. Okay, my buddy, uh, the bouncer at the Whiskey Bar came out. He, uh... When he came out of the club, he bounced, he kind of bumped into my buddy, and my buddy's like, whoa, sorry. And the bouncer says, he kind of just didn't say anything, but he looked back at him as he walked away, and this guy's like, hey, that looks like a bouncer, you don't want to piss him off. Well, instantly the, it seemed as the bouncer set his stuff back on the, in the bar, he came back out to the smoking section, and he immediately goes to my buddy and said, hey, listen, man, you do me, I'm gonna do this two ways. You can do it easier, you can do it nice. Are you give me a fucking cigarette, or I'm gonna drag you out of this place. Right. Take your beer and I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna take your beer, I'm gonna drag you out of this place. And Cole's like, well, who are you, man? I said, I'm gonna do it two ways. You either give me your beer or grab my food. And he's in his, the And so Cole's like, hey, man, sorry. So he grabs Cole's and immediately grabs him by the neck and drags him. And he's kind of dragging Cole's, you know, the guy's twice his size. And he's kind of got him pinned on the ground, dragging him back out the exit toward the front of the bar, through the bar. Right. You know? wow. and, uh, okay, the, the, the cop just told me, told you that the bouncer alleges that he punched him so in when, the face. I guess that was inside, because we put our cigarettes out. We Does the bouncer our... have a black eye or any marks on him? No, not a thing, okay. not even a scratch at all. Does so Whiskey we, Bar have cameras inside? They say, oh, no cameras. No, we didn't see a thing. That's what they said. There okay, what no you cameras. need to do is contact your district attorney and, and ask them to subpoena the camera footage and tell them that your friend was hurt. Can I get a close-up of your friend's hurt eye? Yes. Can I film that? You guys got to put this on K2 in the morning. This I, I don't have access to K2. We do. But so. I see uh, I see that your eye is obviously yeah. hurt. It's broke. Yeah. It's sick. Yeah, it's the same guy that got I've never seen. Dude, can you and, and face this Okay, so as we're leaving. So the light is on your I face so I can the, document I it? The bouncer Look. As we're leaving, and he says, I'm like, you're going See to this guy's buddy. eye? He's it's like, obviously swollen. Shit. I fucking own this place. Yeah, his eye is obviously swollen. He was blatantly saying that. And the cops are saying that. I, I heard what they said. They said they said it's your word against theirs. And they right. said that the bouncer alleges that he punched him in the face. Well, so yeah, does, does the bouncer have a messed up face? Nothing. Not even a scratch on him. No, literally, he had Cole by the back of the neck. If Cole was trying to swing like this, while the guy had him pinned to the ground about this low, then I guess that Well, counts. check it, look, okay? I need I, I need you to go to my YouTube channel, Mike Blue Hair, tomorrow and find this video and use it as evidence that your friend's beat up and he's got he's got uh, a Absolutely. lot of damage done to his face. You can see blood coming out of your friend, the corner of your friend's eye there. I've ever seen. This will make national news if it really gets out. Like, it is 
so sick what happened. There was no instigation. There was no, I'm the bouncer, you need to leave. And the police no. won't take a report? Did they give you a business card or anything? Yeah, they said, uh, yeah, we can't do anything. I honestly don't saying. understand. Like, well, I see there's a happening. cop's business card in his hand, so you need to file a complaint that they wouldn't take a, uh, oh, a statement from you. Yeah, file a complaint for sure. And check out my YouTube channel, Mike Blue Hair, so you can find this video, okay? Right, because I documented that your friend has been assaulted. Ooh. All right, cool. Yeah, okay, you got assaulted over there. He wants medical attention. He needs medical attention. Yeah, she was there. He already tried to talk to the situation over there. No, no, no. So you just asked the cop to get you medical attention, correct? Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. He feels dizzy. So yes. Shake your head, yes. <laughs> right. He asked for medical attention. I'm at Third and Cooch. Uh, the time is 1:25. It's Sunday, October 11th, and this guy, this guy was just assaulted in Whiskey Bar, and I documented his injuries and his friends. Yeah, so they're calling for medical to uh, take him in an ambulance. Now it's documented that he get. His now she's gonna try to talk him out of go. Make sure he doesn't have a car. Well, you need to go to the hospital for that. Well, yeah. Yes. No, I'm just making sure because over there you just get confused. So I just want to make sure that's what you want to do. You want to go to the hospital? He just said he was feeling kind of dizzy and so. Okay, so we'll just get the ambulance for transport to make sure they'll do like a scan. Absolutely. Okay. Could have a broken eye. Cool. All right. Can you tell me that again? Was your friend knocked out cold? Oh, absolutely, like dead on the floor. Like the For how long? Over 30 seconds for sure. Okay, and he was completely unresponsive for oh, at least- Oh yeah, I mean, I was trying to wake him up. People were snapping, lights in his face, everything, nothing. He was completely, eyes rolled back, knocked out. The minute he showed any signs of movement, he had three bouncers dragging him out of the club right then. And then I tried, I was trying to yell, hey, he was just unconscious trying to defend him. And they grabbed me and drug me out of there. Wow, okay. Sorry. Bye, bud. They wouldn't let us back in. They wouldn't let us talk. I mean, it was a, it was like a, uh, a planned operation. Like they'd done it before. Like they know what to do. Remove all witnesses. Remove everybody. I mean, they didn't have one regard at all for his health. If he had a brain injury from hitting the ground, they're dragging him out half unconscious out the front door. He was sitting on the ground outside the club, and they're trying to still see what the fuck's going on with him. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Mike Blue here reporting for Filming Police Portland. Usually I don't do medical calls unless there's good cause to do it. And this time, this gentleman here, Cole, is alleging that he was ass assaulted by the bouncers uh, in uh, Whiskey Bar. So I am going to document his transport into medical because it pertains to him uh, having a legal claim against the people that that, that uh, assaulted him. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm documenting, yo. what? This guy was assaulted, and I'm making sure that he gets his injuries documented, oh, so he can so he can uh, get legal recourse against yeah, the person that beat know, him up. The bouncer literally came up and asked him yeah. for a cigarette. And said, "You don't give me a fucking cigarette. I'm dragging you out of this place." No. It's like, "Who are you?" And he grabs him by the neck and starts dragging him out of the whiskey bar. That's what I'm doing. I'm just so trying to make sure he's taken to care of. himself, and the guy knocks him out. Can we tell the cops so medicals take call? taking Cole now. Yeah, we're like two. Take 
Okay, Cole finally got into the uh, ambulance at 2nd and Cooch. It's 1.40 Sunday, October 11th. He finally got into an ambulance. What hospital is he going to? Emmanuel. Thank you. So they're transporting him to Legacy Emmanuel, okay? Okay. Right on, cool, thanks. Legacy Emmanuel. So I've documented that Cole is indeed being uh, taken to Legacy Emmanuel Hospital. So this is Mike Blue Air signing off for Film the Police Portland. The thing I find most egregious about this whole thing is that Officer Green actually told these guys I was trying to exploit them and I was going to post this video to Facebook and make them look like a-holes. And that's just creepy. I mean, it's, it's really uncalled for. And it makes me think that the cops here are working with the bouncers to cover up crimes. That's just my thoughts on the whole matter. Yeah, like, you know. Wait, wait, wait. What did the medical people say when you were in the ambulance? Oh, I asked them, I, you know, I said, hey, man, he's been, they're like, we don't know if we should take him via uh, ambulance or if we should take him. And I said, well, listen, the kid's been knocked out for over a minute. And the minute he did wake up, three bouncers drug him out of the club half conscious still. And that's when they determined that, yes, they should take him to the hospital. So I guess we're going to go meet him over there. Right on. Thank you. Don't waste a second. Can consult the lawyer as soon as you possibly can. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got here. Here's the...